Today's May 25th. Today's quote is entitled, Suffering is our own choice. So it is kindness of Krishna that he, that he is giving you all facilities. If you want to be a thief, he'll give you all facilities to be a first-class thief. And if you want to be a devotee, he'll give you all facilities to be a first-class devotee. Now it is your choice. Therefore, we are suffering in our own choice. You know, there's such a tendency to blame someone or something for our problems. And, you know, a lot of people blame God or they become atheists. But they don't realize they're creating their own problems or we're creating our own problems. Or sometimes people blame God for cancer, you know. But there obviously are causes of cancer, causes that we as human beings have created. Or we're ignorantly doing something that's causing it and we're blaming God and we're misusing his resources. So um, this, this point that Prabhupada's making is very, very valuable, but it's also concerning. The concerning part is that if we don't want to be Krishna conscious, Krishna may facilitate that. The valuable part is if we want to be Krishna conscious, Krishna will facilitate that. If Krishna facilitates it, it's going to happen. It's guaranteed. If Krishna doesn't facilitate it, it's not going to happen. And if Krishna facilitates our material desires, then we're in trouble. Now you might say, but I have material desires, so how do I know he's not going to facilitate them? He's not going to facilitate them if you don't want them. You might have them. It doesn't, doesn't mean you want them. It doesn't mean you want to fulfill them. It doesn't mean you're meditating on them. It doesn't mean you're praying to have them fulfilled. If you don't want to have your desires fulfilled, if you want to be Krishna conscious, even you have desires, Krishna's not going to fulfill them. He's going to fulfill your desire to be able to tolerate your material desires. And he's going to fulfill your desire eventually to be Krishna conscious. So, if you want to be Krishna conscious, if you want to have a Krishna conscious life, if you want to hear and chant, if you want to have time to do service, if you want to have time to go to the Holy Dimes, all these things, Krishna will help you. And if you don't have time to do the service, you don't have time to sufficiently chant, you don't have time to go to the dumb, you don't have time, ask yourself, is it that I really don't want to do these things and therefore my life has turned out this way that I just don't have time? Have I made choices unknowingly that are preventing me from doing as much service as I'd like to, chanting and hearing as much as I'd like to? Is it because I don't really want to? And I think in many cases the answer is yes. Sometimes it's circumstantial. We do want to, but we can't. We have duties. We have to provide for a family and so on. But in some cases, that's not really the case. The case is that Krishna would facilitate our desire to hear and chant, share Krishna consciousness, and do service. But deep down, we don't really want it badly enough. So we get a little bit entangled in material life in a way that minimizes our time for that. So it's something to meditate on because Krishna's going to fulfill what we want. So we need to ask ourselves, if, if I'm not living the way I want, if I don't have what I want, is it that I really don't want it? And that's why Krishna's not fulfilling that desire.